All right, Tucker, if you don't mind, tell us what you got. That's why we all came here, 50 of us, and Tucker's got one in his hand. So congratulations, man. Good morning, everybody. Relic Rat here. Uh, got myself and Justin McGee digging and about 48 other people. We're on a group hunt, uh, the Battle of Davis Crossroads, uh, Northwest Georgia, 400 acres, four home sites. Justin already found a little suspender buckle. Uh, just now got light enough to uh, to do a opening. Uh, sun's trying to come up, but hadn't yet. So uh, yeah, uh, two days. I bet we dig about 18 or 20 hours in two days. And uh, both got legends, both got root slayers. Uh, we're in all iron looking for cannonballs and three ring bullets and there's three old home sites on this 400 acre so should be plenty of targets come go with us everybody a third hole on the day uh, just dug that pull tab right behind me old old piece of chain oh goodness I don't know if I'm gonna tote this out of here or not check that out old piece of chase train from a from a wagon or a mule it's got all different size links on it cool old fine I'm not gonna tote a whole bunch of heavy iron out of here but I think I'll tote that out Never know. I'm on a Civil War site, so you never know. Probably not quite that old, but old enough. All right, everybody. Hole five on the day. A little low. Solid 21-22 when it was in the ground. So very much a, potentially a little button signal. But low tone. So. And my first head stamp of the day. I just dug that uh, piece of trace chain. Be quite pinpointer. Just dug that piece of trace chain and I got a big old oak tree right here behind me. So if I have found the house place that's 800 yards from the closest parking spot, I'm the first one here, which is kind of weird because I knew some other people headed this way. So anyway, head stamp was the fifth hole on the day. Let's keep looking. All right, everybody, I'm on my seventh hole of the day. Last two, I think, were head stamped after the chain. Thought I moved it. I thought the legend said it moved it. It definitely changed tone. Uh, so I'm back here in the woods looking for a home site and finding head stamps. And Justin just sent me his third three ring bullet <laughs> in the last 20 minutes. So anyway, we're going to have some footage of his three ringers mixed in here with my head stamps. But uh, I'm sure we'll do a hand drop here in a little bit with some awesome stuff. Yeah, he found a early on at a home site, he found a little suspender buckle. And then he found three three ring bullets, though three mini balls. I found three head stamps. I'm going to look a little longer and may head his way. He's not too far from me. All right, everybody. I've dug about 15 holes on the day, mostly head stamps. Uh, I don't think I'm missing stuff. Uh, digging a lot of targets. Well, digging a lot of targets right here in the woods. Justin's right here in the road thinking we're going to dig, what, the third pull tab in a row. Yeah. And he said, nope, he got something cool. How about that? Look at that imprint right there. Very cool. Might have some uh, wordage on that. Right here in the road, y'all. Fell out of the buggy or popped off the overalls on the buggy. So a little fine. We're going to get y'all some close-ups. And uh, yeah, hey, what else you got in your pocket, Justin? Oh, let's see. Are they accessible? I think so. I think he filmed some of them, so hopefully they'll be on the video by now. But I haven't seen them, so. Little small spot out in the field. Part of a knife. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's a big old pocket knife. I think it was like a butter knife or something. Oh, yeah, the end of a knife. It's yeah. brass, though. Brass, very cool. And, then these and three check right out here. what he's got. Lay them in my hand right there, if you don't mind. How cool is that? Congratulations, man. Thank you. Right out in the middle of a field. Dug them, he said, in about a 
50 yard circle and uh and then left so we're gonna go back through there on the way back to the truck and uh go try some other spots so that suspender he got another suspender and there you go i, I would show y'all my head stamps but i'm embarrassed good job all right everybody i'm old 20 trudging along here behind justin he left me a little deep something something right here track the part maybe or maybe a can you gotta turn y'all on to dig it though stuck in the ground whatever it is pretty far we're at the uh, battle in the rock we're at the battle of davis davis crossing so uh, who knows what it could be it is ah on mule stuff on mule harness stuff let's cover the farmer's stuff back up so the cows won't trip how about them old apples for some chunky big old iron down here in the middle of the field on mule harness a piece of wood the single tree went right through there and the trace chains hey i got a trace chain in my pocket oh i keep putting my hand in my in my vest pocket which is getting it dirty check that out dug that over where we were looking for old home site and that and that's what they did right there Ooh, hooked up i don't know if that's true but it, it looks really good doesn't it we'll get back with y'all a whole 20 on the day all right everybody we came to parking spot four i hadn't dug a signal signal hole and justin just found found something down in the right now head stand i'm not sure huh all right hang on let me get my glasses come here glasses I think I maybe see a primer circle in the middle, but I... My goodness, that is a toasted head stamp, <laughs> if that's all that is. Right. Or a tube. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I'm going to say toasted head stamp, but uh, if, it, if we if we clean that up and it turns into something cool... Oh, look at there. There's the paper. Yep. There's that's the paper it. out of the inside. The so that stamp. was the inside and that was Flat. the top. Head Somewhere stamp. on that garbage, there's some words. <laughs> <laughs> good try. Oh, well. Yep. Try again. Hey, good signal. All right, everybody, I got big, deep iron right there. So when you're looking for cannonballs and you get that deep and you're still not to it, that's a good thing. That's hole 21 on the day. I started 1755 with clicker ball. And I'm going to take a break because it's rocky and it's tough to dig. And Justin said he's got something he's not sure about that he thinks might be cool. Let's see what we got here. I was digging in the shade. Now he's going to make me go in the sun. <laughs> We're going to all go in the sun here shortly. So He dug three mini balls and... Something sticking out of this clump of dirt here. Oh, very cool. Oh, it fell. Oh. It fell right there. And that is very, very cool. You know what it looks like? A brass pawn <laughs> doesn't it maybe a stud or something off of a saddle it's a, a fancy it is a heavy oh. duty fancy stud i don't know we need a we may have to have an id person yeah. for that cool fine cool. justin yeah that's Thank uh <clears throat> don't know might be civil war cool stuff all right everybody justin and i digging down the creek here we're hearing some stuff's being found in the creek, but we don't know where, maybe further down than we're at. We're above the Ford, and the uh, people that are finding stuff may be below the Ford. But anyway, we're at the end of the rope because we got on muck boots, barely, and there's the end of our gravel ball right there, and that water goes bank to bank. So we're, we're done. We're gonna turn around, go back up in the woods, and uh, maybe hit the creek somewhere else. So uh, yeah. I've dug 23 holes and hadn't found anything, and Justin's dug probably about that many and has found five or six go finds. So come go with us. All right, y'all. Still on this same sandbar. I told you we were about to leave a while ago. We can't go down the creek anymore, so Justin's got a good signal. We're going to detect the sandbar. What you got? Bush light. Bush light. It's probably what the other one was, but anyway, it was too nasty to figure it out. So uh, then we're going to go back up the creek. Uh, I don't know. We might get in that pasture right over there. Uh, have to check and see where the property lines are, but uh, yeah, digging in this, digging in the gravel bars. Uh, be nice if these leaves had been washed away in the last few days. Might have found some airheads. We still might. We're obviously looking. <clears throat> All right, everybody. I've been back at the truck about five or ten minutes, and Justin just got back. 
What'd you find? Uh, the only other thing was a little buckle of some kind. Cool. That was a little buckle. Let's see. Well. Looks kind of horse. Be quiet, truck. Be quiet, truck. All right. Let's see. Then a good pouch. Uh, Doug, that might be a that might be a gun. Uh, a sling adjuster. A sling adjuster. Yeah. Maybe. Very cool, man. Yeah. It's yeah. nice and heavy. Yeah, it is. I think that might be a, a rifle sling. But anyway, who knows? If not, it's some horse stack, but it's brass. Mm-hmm. Cool, got, fine. Got some green on it. Got some green on it. Yep. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. We might be going to get some lunch, y'all. Not sure. It's about, I don't know what time it is, one o'clock. Anyway, we're headed headed out probably to go get some lunch and then back at it. All right, everybody, <laughs> hold 32 on the date. I think it's big iron, but I know it's big iron. Or a big can or a big something. Yep. What in the world? Up. Oh. Old plow point. Had it halfway out. I couldn't figure out where it was. Old plow point, y'all. All right, everybody. Justin said he's going to dig something. There's somebody right up there at the house place. And he's got a signal right out here in the field. And I can't get to him because I got a cramp in my leg. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me see. If he find oh, if he finds something, I'll zoom in. Oh. <laughs> oh no, it's a good one too. Yeah, it usually happens at night. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Take a break. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, what you got, Justin? I'm I'm zoomed in. It is a three-ring bullet. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hobble on over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 it hurts. Just so y'all think I'm I'm joking, I'm doing that right there. Uh, awesome, dude. Hallelujah. All right, let me zoom back out now because I'm all the way over here. Awesome. Three ringer. Oh, I thought she's saying us. All right, very cool. Congratulations. Number four on the day. All right, everybody. Justin found something really, really cool. We just don't know what it is. Thinking of scutcheon or something, but uh, pretty substantial. More substantial than an average of scutcheon. So what we want it to be is a decorative piece on the side of a musket, but, you know, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, though. It's a cool it find out in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere. Cool stuff. All right, everybody. My legs are cramping. It's hard for me to bend over. Just call Justin over. He just... Doug something. What do you think that is? Oh, man. <laughs> what I said. I don't know. I don't either. Long. I knew it was long before I dug it. Looks like it goes. I don't know if I had y'all on or off. But... Yep, that was right there. Got a big chunk of iron in the ground. On a Civil War site, so we're trying to get it all up together. Uh oh, <laughs> it might be shorter now. I think you pull it out now. No oh, way! Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> People were just parked here. They've been digging here all day long. Not that, not that everybody didn't know it was iron. I knew it was iron too. I knew it was big iron, but. When I got to it, I thought gun barrel or something. I was just seeing one little part of it. So, cool old fine. Very cool. Yep. <laughs> Reliving history, one old steering wheel at a time. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm going to hold 35 on the day. It was a pretty darn good signal, but I haven't heard enough good signals today to know what they sound like. So I didn't film it, and I'm tired, and I'm cramping. So, uh... Uh, I'll get my pin pointer out just to show y'all where it's at. I rubbed one side of it and I dropped it back in the hole. And that's a silver. 
I don't know what that is, y'all. Could be a big old silver knife handle. I don't know. Is it silver plated or is it silver? It's very heavy. Very heavy and it's got a bunch of fancy on it. I literally rubbed one side, flipped it over, and the other side was that clean. So I think it's just a big old silver plated knife handle or mirror handle. So we'll clean it up a little more though. <laughs> Easily my best find of the day. Uh, and of course, if it's silver, it might, it's a really, really good find, but I don't think it is. Reliving history, one old fake silver something at a time. All right, everybody. Day one of the Georgia October 12th and 13th Chad Tinker hunt. Uh, we're on 400 acres here near davis crossroads and we found some cool stuff mostly justin found some cool stuff but we together found some cool stuff he found four three ring bullets literally right there from there to there and the and there's 15 of these fields around here giant fields this is a little one actually and he found all his three ringers right there so three ring bullets pump organ reed i think that's an a i think the long ones are a uh suspender clasp Something real cool that we don't, we're gonna try to get an ID on. That's a heavy piece of brass. Could be a scutcheon, probably a fake silver uh, mirror handle, harmonic reed plate, D buckle, maybe a rifle sling buckle, another suspender, uh, old bottle top, some horse stuff, and uh, finial. Finial, oh yeah, Justin Finial. Might be the find of the trip, and I was about to leave it out. That's very, very cool, Justin. That stuff does not go anywhere when they make it out of the right kind of brass, does it? Yep. Very cool. What am I missing? I oh, it. my steering wheel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll drive you crazy. All right, y'all. Reliving history. One old hunt at a time. All right, everybody. Relic right here. Uh, we're just packing up. Just brush my teeth. Uh, homeowner yesterday at this Airbnb. Uh, this is the Airbnb. The The house is right over there so we could dig in the yard if we wanted to so justin said he was going to find one good signal before we uh before we left so he just came inside and said you're not gonna believe what my first signal is and i hadn't seen it yet so where's the hole it's not even a hole oh i see it now oh <laughs> i see it now but I... unreal check that out y'all there's the impression. The impression's still in the ground right there. First signal. Is it is a silver ring, I think? I, I don't know if it's got a mark yet. I don't see one. Could just be a toy. Could just be a... <laughs> well, that's your one signal. I guess it's time to go. <laughs> hey, let me, let me hold it. See if you can get your light on it right there. It feels it's got a little weight to it. I don't know what's showing up in the camera, but... It, silver ring y'all only <laughs> signal in this yard like the sun it was just breaking day it's just breaking day we were loading up the leaf and check out and as you can see we're headed to the dig site about five miles away let's see i might i might there you go i can see it without a flashlight that is crazy if that's if that's got a mark in it and it's heavy very cool justin no congratulations <laughs> at the airbnb y'all on top of the ground this is probably right where everybody parks so yep. make sense yep. all right this video is getting too long i won't be able to send it to sister ron congratulations man thank you that's freaking awesome <laughs> all right y'all i'm messaging the guy that i'm trying to get some axe heads to and uh justin just dug his second hole first was a surface find dug his second hole and busted out laughing again all right tell me what you're seeing justin well come here and look yourself I think I can see without the flashlight. A brooch? No way. <laughs> Man, that's, that's a, that was a gold plated. All right, now you gotta quit. <laughs> now you gotta quit. Gold plated pin or brooch, y'all? Right here, right by the Airbnb. Yeah, we asked the homeowner yesterday if we could dig in the yard. We told her what we were here for, and she said, oh, of course, and there you go. Second find. 
Let me have, where's the ring? Let me right see, the, let me see the ring. I got to get some pictures of this. <laughs> Silver ring and a, probably a gold plated brooch at one time. That looks old right there. It does look old. Very cool, man. <laughs> Congratulations. <Thanks. laughs> Crazy. Everybody hadn't dug a three ring bullet and Justin dug four, so he gave me a signal. Check out what it uh, mid tone. We'll see a couple of targets right here, so could be two or three together. <laughs> Got it out, a little depth to it. Head stamp or three ringer? Not very deep. Ah, not a three ring bullet. A very old cartridge though. Rotting. Wonder what that. Wonder what that is. You can tell through the phone. Mm, there's some writing on it, but I can't make it out. That looks old. It does. Yep. Not a three ring bullet, but anyway, that's why it wasn't, wasn't quite that's as solid. It was a little jumpy. Yeah. All right. Cool. Fine. Regardless. All right, everybody. Relic right here. I'm on the fifth hole of the day, I think. Hole 43 for the, for the weekend. Flipped the plug over. Was beeping over that nail saying, that's not my target. That's not my target. And looked a little closer. Get the nail out of the way. Little piece of brass, something. Ah, it's uh just a piece of old, old copper water fitting or something. Anyway, fifth hole of the day. I'm gonna start doing a little filming. There's a few good little targets around this old home site. So, uh, yeah, uh, hadn't found any any old uh, drop bullets or anything today, but little pieces of brass come go with us. All right, everybody, hole 15 on the day. Legend says I flipped it out of the hole right over here on this edge see it though ring up, i've been ringing up pull tabs ring up a little better than the pull tab ah i almost thought penny signal but y'all will see why maybe the end of old lipstick tube maybe cap off of something not a bottle cap but it's uh i say that i can't see in it because it's squished but uh yeah Almost looks silver, but I'm sure it's not. Anyway, we'll clean that up. And if it's anything cool, right, we'll show y'all. Hold 28 on, hold 20 on the day for me. Hold 58 on the trip, I think. I'm struggling with numbers. I don't need a pinpointer because when I flip the plug over, there is an old green coin laying right here. Tis a weedy laying on top of the plug. All right, finally got me a little one center. A little one center. If the wreath was a little different, it, I'd be looking for an Indian, but I bet Lincoln's on the other side. Let me flip it around and see. Uh, yeah, I bet I can get a date off that. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can get it right here, but uh, yeah, finally found a little wheat penny. Hold twenty on the day, fifty-eight on the trip. All right, everybody, hold twenty-one on the day. Just dug the weedy in that hole right there. Swung right beside. I'm gonna swing all around it, of course, because you never know. Oh, I thought this was a better signal. I thought that was gonna be a dime. Rang up a little higher than the other weedy. I think it's another weedy though. I'll clean it up a little bit. Throw it in the pouch and see how many we can find. Oh, need to put my good glasses on. Got I got readers in my sunglasses, but oh, <laughs> that's an old modern penny. Anyway, it's got to be got to be seventies. I believe that's where Abe sits, right in the middle of those two columns. All right, we'll get back with y'all. All right, everybody, hold twenty-three on the day. Just on the other side of this ant hill right here which is crawling with ants. I dug the weedy and the modern penny. Bunch of little signals around here I'm probably giving more credit to than I should. Oh, wow. I didn't think that was a penny, but since it's right here beside those other two coins, that's some sort of, I don't know what that is, y'all. I don't know what that is. Let me show y'all. Probably not old, but we are at a Civil War battle area. Of course, I'm at old home site on it because that's what I like doing. And I'm assume that's you know what that looks like. It looks like a drain of some sort. 
almost like an old brass copper drain plug. Anyway, we'll clean that up at the truck and uh, see. Never know if it's got holes around it. I think it, I think it was a drain. Turned it, turned the water, stopped the water from draining, pulled it. Something I don't know. I'm probably way off. <laughs> All right, everybody, hole 24 on the day. I think there's my ant pile. There's my ant pile. There's the two pennies right there. Two pennies right there. Got another bouncy high tone once again. Giving stuff more credit than I should be. I thought I flipped it out of the plug just because there's coins here. Ah, there's another one. Come on, be an Indian. Be an Indian. That's a nickel, y'all. Nope, that's a weedy. That's another weedy. One cent right there on the back. Loading up on the little green coins. We say we're older, but hey, we'll take them. All right, everybody. Justin's walking over in the woods. I had I had left my pin pointer. My pin pointer had fallen out of my pouch. So I got a little head stamp signal here. Yep, there you go. I got a head stamp, but listen to this. All right, I'm gonna pick the phone up and try to selfie me and Justin. I called Justin over. So Justin, I'm gonna make you walk out on that hill right over there. Okay. Little boy named Tucker just found something that we need to both go see. Oh, really? And video. All right, let's and go. And he said, absolutely. Just so happens I had just given him a relic rat hat. So I said, you want to be on YouTube? And he said, absolutely. Going to blow y'all's mind. So we're going to walk. We're going to walk right out in that field. They're on a hill right over there that I bet they're going to be on for the next eight hours. And they said, actually, they may check this hill, the one you and I were going to check. But anyway, we're going to walk out in the field and, uh, yeah, see what Tucker found. You will not believe it. Everybody, so I just told you in the woods that I was going to make Justin walk out here and see what Tucker found on this little hill. No way. <laughs> Holy cow, can I touch it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I didn't ask, I should have asked. Whoa, look at the eagle on there. How about that? Hold it right there for a second. That is real. That is legit. That's the real deal. You wow. gonna you gonna have it worked on or you gonna keep it just like that? Uh, probably keep it. I, I like it. I like it the way nice they come job. out of the ground. So Very yeah, nice. got Tucker. What's your last name, Tucker? Cruz. Tucker Cruz and his dad. Uh Steven. All right, Tucker, if you don't mind, tell us what you got. Um, that's an eagle chest plate. Eagle chest plate, though, right here on this little hill, out here in the middle of nowhere, and I'm in the sun like a goofball. Congratulations, man. Thank you. That's as good as it gets. Wow. That's why we all came here, 50 of us, and Tucker's got one in his hand. So congratulations, man. Thank you. All right, everybody. Right here on the hill where uh, Tucker dug the uh, breastplate. And I just finally found my first little three ring bullet. Little squeaky junky tone. How about them apples? Ha 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 ha, Justin thought I wasn't gonna find one. He found four the first day and nobody near us. Well, one guy found one close to us. There you go. How about them apples? Legend does it again. All right, everybody, right here in the middle of the field. That's where Tucker dug the, on this hill right here. I dug my three ringer right over there. Tucker dug a breastplate, uh, eagle plate right there. And uh, Justin just had a decent little high tone. Oh, fire. Wow, that's cool. Look at the rings. Still yep. see the rings on it. Yeah, that slammed into something hard, didn't it? It did. Possibly somebody. Golly. Very cool, man. Cool fine. That's the first fired one so far. Very nice. Congratulations. All right, everybody. I called Justin over. We just saw we just saw we think a copperhead in the field. I called him over for some more wildlife pictures. Oh, he stopped. I was rolling that little pile of poop. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> He's trying. There you go. Wow. Wildlife uh metal <laughs> wildlife poop rolling. That'll be an Olympic event. <laughs> taking that home with him. He got him a little piece. He's taking that to the house. <laughs> we'll beat a roll. <laughs> I thought that was funny. All right, everybody. Uh, swinging right around this same hilltop where uh, Tucker found the breastplate, and Justin's got another one. I think that's uh, flipped the plug over, and it broke apart. And right down in there. 
here. I haven't even plucked it out yet. You can see the rings. Another drop. Awesome, man. So that's five drops and a fired for Justin and one drop for me. I don't care, man. That is so very cool. Very, very cool. Awesome. Yep. All, I think they're all the exact same bullets, too. And, and these last two are... Shoot, probably 700 yards from where you found the first. That's right. Three or four. So, yeah. very cool, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Yep. I don't know. I'm going to hold 40 on the day. I made a quick counting. Uh, Justin swung over it. I swung over it. We thought it might. It was so deep. We thought it might be iron. And uh, there you go. Another three ring drop. Right here within probably 50 yards of where Tucker found the breastplate. So, Cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. All right, everybody. Justin got something. I think it's still in the hole, Justin. And Claudia said she had a three ring bullet. I think so. I haven't pulled it all the way out. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. I'm up here and they're finding all the bullets today, so it's finally. <laughs> finally. Down here in the oh, you dug a nice, neat little triangle plug. Yep, yeah, a drop. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Awesome. Uh, I feel like I feel like uh, messaging Chad and telling him to tell Tucker and his dad to come back over here because I feel like we're getting all their stuff. But anyway, you know, they Chad, left. Uh, Chad asked us if we'd been all the way back here. Yeah. Well, well, I talked to him a while ago. Yeah, yeah. I saw him. Yep. Yep. But he yesterday came. He, he asked us if we'd come all the way back, yep. and I was like. Mm. And here it is, one little hilltop. I think, what, four or five bullets? Oh, and now Justin's calling me back over here. Sorry, sister. Huh? Deep. deep and not good. Some of these three ringers are 12, 15 inches deep, y'all. And we're just figuring out that any little grunt, you got to dig. How about two oh, consecutive? Check it out. This one. Two consecutive. Not a three ringer. Mini, a a mini ball. ball. <laughs> Pistol ball, yeah. Like a, maybe like a, I don't know what the calibers are, 36 caliber or something. Look at that white patina, y'all. Congratulations, man. Thank you. That's even awesomer because we hadn't dug seven or eight of those. <laughs> Good job. All right, y'all. Claudia thinks she may have another bullet. Knocked it off in the grass there. Justin just dug a uh, mini ball behind us. Ready? Is it? <laughs> another drop. And that one hit iron totally from two sides. How about that? That's so crazy. I made a mess. It's got something to do with the soil and the depth. Cool old find. Mm. Congratulations. Just the numbers were good on it. You there know? you go. Got to dig it anyway. So good job. All right, everybody. Justin got another deep, scratchy tone. These bullets are, a lot of them are 10, 12 inches deep or more, and they're just not giving a good signal. Claudia is digging right up there. Got digging something. Let's see what Justin's got first. I just dug a little piece of brass. It probably had to do with soldiers, but we know all these bullets do. Barely missed piece it. piece of iron down here. I'll all have right. to get it out in a second. I got you. All right, we'll get back. We all, if it's anything good. Well, nope, we hit it. Right. <laughs> Might actually have a plow point for a change. Is it? Oh, mule shoe. Horseshoe. Mule, mule shoe. shoe. There you go. Hey, cool. It's better than a poking knife. Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're about done. We're going to do a tailgate wrap up. Justin said he had to stop and dig that <laughs> but we found some cool stuff yeah so we want to give props to chad tinker uh look at that stuff y'all let's see justin had five drops and a shot mini ball or whatever they are and i had two three ringers dropped some brass stuff some wheat pennies uh i don't know what that is um i don't know probably modern something Justin dug a couple of suspender straps, uh, pump organ reed, maybe a um, maybe a rifle sling thing. Uh, we hadn't given up on this. Justin dug that, and it looks very cool. Harmonic reed plate, debuckle, some horseshoes, 
some trace chains, a very cool old double axe head. Don't see those every day. Uh, proudly dug a steering wheel. <laughs> what else, Justin? What am I missing? Uh, the finial. Oh, yeah. Yep. Justin dug a little finial. Yep. And a pistol ball. I had those right there together. So that is some cool patina on that pistol ball. And y'all, I bet we'll have some close ups, but it has a pattern on it. Like it was maybe put in a pocket, put in a cloth. burlap or something while it was still hot or something i don't know i've never seen a never seen a cloth pattern on one so but cool finial uh just a bunch of cool stuff so yeah thank you chad tinker mm -hmm. thank you uh thank you davis crossroads battle of davis crossroads reliving history one old bullet at a time